Hi, Kylie here, just another army vet. Welcome to the channel. Today I'm reacting to another Greek video. This is Greek Military Power 2022, How Powerful is Greece? Greek Army Weapons. This comes from an awesome channel called Military Powers. They have a lot of great content, so please go check out their channel. I'll link them down below. Let's get to it. The Greek army is constantly developing in military terms. Recent purchases of military weapons have made the army more powerful. Again, that's the name of the channel, so please go check them out. The Greek ground forces have 400,000 soldiers. 130,000 of these soldiers are active. But I think they have like a million available soldiers like on standby if they need it. Like in a crisis or something. Greek army is experiencing military problems with neighboring countries. Due Turkey? to these problems, the army has recently become seriously strong. There are 170 Leopard 206 tanks in Greece, which are among the most powerful tanks in the world. Leopard 2F4 and Leopard 1F4 tanks in the same series are also available. So the two most powerful tanks in the world are the United States M1 Abrams and then the Leopard tank. Which one is actually better on the battlefield? In all honesty, they perform almost equally, but if you go by weight and by armor, the Leopard actually can outmaneuver the Abrams just because of the fact that they can go a little faster and their armor weighs a little less. The reason why the M1 Abrams armor weighs more is just because of what it's actually made of. Three hundred ninety American made M48 tanks are also included in the inventory. Has the most modern tanks in the region when it comes to tanks. In the following years, more modern tanks will serve in the army. From the point of view of armored vehicles, similar vehicles are used in other countries. Leonard C is an armored vehicle manufactured by the Greek army. So yes, the US military also uses similar vehicles. I was in a medical unit that actually used vehicles just like this. The bigger medical vehicle that we just saw, I think it's called a 557, and the smaller one that we use is called a 113. Missile systems are available in M270 MLRS, Room 70 systems. The M270 is great in design and missiles. Room 70 systems are capable of firing up to 40 missiles. The 111 system is capable of firing 4,500 missiles. 4,500 missiles? But in what time frame? That's what I want to know. 4,500 missiles. It fires 4,900 missiles with the systems. Wow. Tanks, 1,300. Vehicles, 6,150. Artillery, 669. MLRS, 147. Artillery, king of battle. Is that like a striker or what kind of vehicle is that? What is that used for? Wow. Oh, I like that design. What do the Greek letters actually say? The main fighter aircraft in the Air Force is the F-16. F-16 fighter jet is at the Block 70 models will enter the inventory in the 2027 year. 
So the F-16 fighter jet is also called a uh, Fighting Falcon, I believe, and the U.S. Air Force also uses this jet as well. I believe that's a French-made jet, a Raphael. It is also planned to be taken on the Raphael jet at French aircraft. I like that paint job. That is a brilliant design. I, I just love that. If these aircraft are taken, the Greek Air Force will gain serious strength. Greece has a very powerful air force, from what I've been told at least. And then see why. Aircraft 633 fighter jets, 188 helicopters, 270 attack helicopters, 29 trainers, 144 transport aircraft, 17. Considering how small Greece is, I mean, those numbers are pretty significant actually. I am kind of liking the music. It's interesting. It's making everything sound really dramatic. So I want to say that that's a Blackhawk, but in all honesty, I don't think it is a Blackhawk because this was filmed, I think, seven or eight months ago back in March. And as of the summer, Greece was in its final steps of actually purchasing some Blackhawks from the U.S. military. So, I'm not sure what that is, but if you know, please drop that in the comments. So, is that like a trainer aircraft right there? Some of these big transport planes. I think that's a frigate. Recent serious military purchases have made the Greek Navy strong. We think that the frigates to be taken into the Navy or purchases are expected in the Fti frigate class. So, from what I know, a frigate is comparable to a U.S. Navy destroyer. I think the only difference is that the frigate is a little heavier, but in terms of their main mission, I think they mostly do escort and convoy kind of missions. Total Navy 120 frigates, 13 mine warfare, 8 submarines, 11 patrol vessels, 35. Are the submarines nuclear powered though?
So I really enjoyed that video. I actually learned a lot and I'm glad that they didn't go into every single piece of equipment because then that would have been a really long video. Greece is the land of Sparta. They're the descendants of King Leonidas and the 300. You don't want to mess with them. They may be small, but they are a mighty country. Again, please go check out Military Powers. If you do want to watch some more videos on Greece, I have some more on the screen or I have a good one on Finland. Thanks for watching.